Seconds are of the essence when dealing with a sudden cardiac arrest situation. Knowing how to properly use an automated external defibrillator, or AED, when the opportunity presents itself can save a life. An AED is a portable device that analyzes the heart's rhythm and can deliver an electric shock to restore a proper heart rhythm. You've likely seen one around your workplace or out in the community. When you come upon someone who you think may be suffering from sudden cardiac arrest, you should first check for signs of life. Give the person a tap on the shoulder and ask if they are okay. If there are no signs of breathing, assume that the person's heart is not functioning properly and have somebody call 911. Start using the AED immediately. If an AED isn't readily available, administer CPR until an AED arrives. Once you have the AED in hand, turn it on and follow the visual or audio prompts. The AED will tell you what to do next. Connect electrodes. Open the person's shirt and wipe their bare chest dry if necessary. You may also need to quickly shave the person's chest with the razor provided in the kit to ensure the AED works correctly. Apply the pads to the person's bare, dry chest. One pad goes on the upper right chest, the other on the lower left side. Some pads have illustrations to aid you in placement. If the AED doesn't start analyzing automatically once the pads are applied and cables are connected, plug in the connector. Push the Analyze button and allow the AED to analyze the person's heart rhythm. It is important that nobody touches the patient while the AED is analyzing so it can operate properly. If the AED recommends that you deliver a shock to the person, again, make sure that no one is touching the patient, including yourself. Tell everyone to stand clear and press the shock button. Once the shock is delivered or if no shock is advised, it is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. Give two minutes of CPR before analyzing the heart rhythm again. If you notice an obvious sign of life, stop CPR and monitor the person's breathing. When in doubt, continue CPR and follow the AED's prompts until medical help arrives. The AED will direct you through each step of the process. We hope this video helps you feel more comfortable in the case that you have to use an AED. Your knowledge and quick action could save a life.